idcwoodcraft.com. Hi, I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft. You've come to this video because you asked me a question. And that question was, how do you need to populate your shopping cart while you're buying your long mill MK2 CNC router? This video is gonna walk you through that process so that by the time you're at your shopping cart, it will be properly populated with all the essential things that you will need so that when you get your long mill and get it assembled, you'll be ready to start carving right away as opposed to thinking, oh my gosh, now I gotta get something else or something else you might have forgotten. This is gonna clear it up for you completely. Now we're gonna do this in a certain way. I'm gonna walk you through something called the Long Mill MK2 Configurator. <laughs> this is a tool that Long Mill put together on their website where you start at the beginning and walk through and check off the items that you want and by the time you're done your shopping cart will be properly populated with the essential stuff and then all you have to do is check out. I'm first going to show you the configurator and then you're going to open it up yourself so you can get yours populated so by the time you're done with this video all you have to do is complete the order and get your machine underway in the mail to you. Down below in the description is a link and also in the first comment. That link will take you to the configurator. When I tell you, I want you to click that link and keep this video running and then just follow along with what I explain. I will tell you what you need, what you don't need. So I'm going to get right into the configurator. What you're looking at on the screen is a web page that Long Mill has put together. It's called the Long Mill MK2 Configurator. And this has been built for you to help you pick all the essential elements out at one time. So when you make your order for your Long Mill and get it in the mail, and get it put together, you will be able to start carving right away without having to go back and order more items. So I'm gonna walk you through the configurator and by the time you're done, you'll have your order placed. Now, rather than me walking you through here and you watching me, it is much better for you to go to this page yourself and listen to this video and we will just go through it together as you get the items into your shopping cart. So what I've done is down below this video in the first comment is a link that will take you directly to this page. What I want you to do is go click that link now, then you and I will walk through this together. So I'm going to give you about five seconds to click that link and get to the configurator, and then we will start going through it. Five, four, three, two, one. So now I'll assume you have the Long Mill MK2 configurator up on your computer or on your cell phone. The first page you are looking at is basically a welcome screen. It says Long Mill MK2 Configurator, and then there's a picture down below that says, hey there, welcome to the Long Mill MK2 Configurator. The first thing we have to do is tell them what the currency is that we are using. Right below the text that says Long Mill Configurator is a drop-down box. You can either select US dollar or Canadian dollar. Pick the one that you are working with and then click the blue start button. That will bring you to the first page where you choose your long mill size. Now you'll see there's a picture of a long mill 30 by 30. And below that there are three buttons. One says 12 by 30. The second says 30 by 30, which will probably be a gray color to you. And the third one will be 48 by 30. So these are the three options you have to choose from. What's the difference between the three machines? The first one to the left, 12 by 30, will cut a single piece that is 12 inches by 30 inches in size. Actually, a little bit more, but that's the general size. The next one in the middle, the 30 by 30, will cut a project that is 30 inches by 30 inches. Actually, 32 inches by 34 inches. And then the 48 by 30, we'll cut a project that is 50 inches wide by 34 inches wide. Pretty big cutting area. So which one do you select? My recommendation is get the biggest machine you can possibly afford and fit in whatever space that you're getting it into. And the reason I say that is because many people find themselves restricted from time to time because they didn't have a big enough machine. 
Someone will ask them to make a project of a certain size and they simply can't do it. If you are planning to start a CNC business, then I absolutely say get the 48 by 30. This will open up your opportunities exponentially. So we're going to select the 48 by 30 and then click the blue next button. That will bring you to the router. So the Makita 1.25 horsepower router is an add-on. And the reason it's an add-on is because some people like me have this same router. <laughs> I actually have four of them and may not need it for their long mill. Or you may want to use something else. My recommendation is simply get this because you'll be ready to go when you get your machine built and you'll be able to start carving stuff. But right now we want to get you creating. So we're going to click the checkbox that's below the image and that will add it to your cart. And then you click the blue next button. Now you'll notice somewhere on your screen, if you're on a computer to the right under the blue next button at the top, you'll have two items listed. One will be your long mill that you've selected and the next one will be the Makita router. That's just letting you know what's been added to your shopping cart. If you scroll all the way up on the computer, you'll also notice the shopping cart now has two items in it. The next item that's on here is the dust management. Basically, a dust shoe. This is an absolute necessity and Long Mill has made one specifically for the MK2 series CNC router. This is just a hands down add it to your shopping cart because if you don't have dust control you will have sawdust everywhere. So make sure you check that. Down below that is the MK2 lead screw dust shield. You'll see there's a computer generated image below that that has two dark gray bands on the left and the right of the machine. These are shields that will actually cover the screws that are on the side of the machine and protect them against sawdust. It's not the hugest of issues to have to have that, but it's not a bad idea to have it as well. So if you've selected the 30 by 30 or the 48 by 30, you probably want to go ahead and add that. If you've selected the 12 by 30, then you will not want to get these because they do not make them for the 12 by 30. So if you're getting the 12 by 30, do not check that box, otherwise do. And then click the next button. Then you will come to touch plate. Now touch plates are the items that actually set your bits, meaning you have to tell your machine where it's actually gonna start its project from or its reference point. And a touch plate is what you use to do that. The touch plate is an automatic way to set your router bit to the zero point. You can do it manually. However, the touch plate will save you a ton of time. Now, if you scroll down, there's a second option for a touch plate. There's one that says auto zero touch plate. This is a bit more of a convenient touch plate than the first one, which is just a regular touch plate. The one at the top is the corner touch plate and is the most common touch plate that you will find on CNC routers. The difference is if you are starting to set your zero point with a V bit, you will have to first install a straight bit, set your zero point, and then come back in with your V bit and reset one of your zero points. So this can be a two point operation, whereas the auto zero would be a single zeroing operation. I would say that the corner touch plate is fine to use unless you really want a nice automatic touch plate where you only have to set your bit once then you get the auto zero. So when it comes to essentials I will say at least the corner touch plate is the essential so that's what we're going to check here and then we'll click the blue next box. This is where you come to your router bits. And this is where I split off from Long Mill because IDC Woodcraft is a CNC router bit company. You can select something that you want from here, or you can get the complete starter set from IDC Woodcraft. That will come with free files. It comes with a tool database that you'll need to install in your software because you have to set up your bits in your software. And it's not a lot of fun setting it up manually. And you'll get a few other things. So if you want to get router bits, you can select any one of these that you want, or you can get the complete starter set from IDC Woodcraft. 
there will be a link down in the description for that set as well. And if I've emailed this video to you, then I will have a link for that in there as well. IDCwoodcraft.com So we're just not going to check anything here because we're going to get the IDC Woodcraft starter set. So we're just going to click Next. And that's going to take us to a page that's even more bits. So you can choose what you want, but we are going to come down to something that we do want to pay attention to. And that is the 1 8 inch precision collet for the Makita. This is something that's optional, but recommended. Now I'm going to scroll down a little bit further first. One of the things that comes in the IDC Woodcraft set is two of the collet adapters. What this collet serves to do is avoid a collet change out. This is a quarter inch to an eighth inch adapter. So if you have an eighth inch shank router bit, you can simply slip it into this collet and then slip this collet into your quarter inch collet and then start running. Now you will get two of these in the IDC Woodcraft starter kit. But I do suggest that you get this one from Long Mill, which is the eighth inch. So we're going to check that as a yes. And then click the next button. Well, let's scroll all the way down first to see if there's anything else. And I'm not going to cover router bits here because it's all covered in IDC. So we're going to click next. And the next thing we come to is other add-ons. Now, this is the laser beam. It is a laser attachment that you can put on your long mill. It's not necessary, but it gives you a lot of flexibility to do other things on your long mill. You'll have to learn about how to work with a laser as well as how to work with a router. If you plan on doing a laser at any time, then I just suggest that you go ahead and pick that up. So we're just going to say we're going to add this to the order. So scroll down and click the checkbox next to the laser beam item. And then next you have T-Track. Now T-Track is just a method that you can set up your spoil board so that you use clamps quickly, change them in and out. I'm not going to cover this too much. I don't have T-Tracks on my router. It's a convenient item and I would actually recommend that you consider getting these. They will make your life a lot faster when you're doing clamping. I will say, check that. Now you have some, now you have some selections down here. It says T-Tracks only, T-Tracks with clamps, clamps only, or a single track rail. I don't really know what the difference is, so that I will leave up to you. But I will simply say T-Tracks only, and then I'll click the checkbox. Now, the next item is the inductive sensor kit for the Long Mill MK2. If you are going to start a CNC business, you absolutely want to get this. I'm not going to explain this here. I would have it explained in other videos I have done, but essentially I will say that this helps you create multiple stations on your CNC router quickly. So I'm going to assume you're starting a CNC business. We are going to click that checkbox to get the MK2 proximity sensors. They're homing switches. Threaded inserts are in case you are going to create a spoil board and you have threaded inserts in it to screw your clamps down with. That's up to you. The spoil board program that I have created for you is something that uses these. So if you want to create this spoil board, and you will click 100 pieces because you really want more than 25. So it's not that expensive. So check that. And then click next. And then you have maintenance items, replacement anti-backlash nuts and the replacement V-wheels. My experience is the V-wheels hold up quite well. I've been running my long mill for a year and a half now, so I don't necessarily think you need to get them right away. The anti-backlash nuts, they don't wear right away. However, they are a wear item, and I would suggest just adding that to your cart as something to have for later on when you do need to replace them. And then we'll click the next button, and then we come to the design software. You have a choice between VCarve Desktop and VCarve Pro. And sometimes people get sticker shock on this because the desktop is $350 and the Pro is $700. 
What's the difference? The VCarve Pro will allow you to design your project in the entire space of the long mill, whereas the VCarve Desktop only allows you to design in areas up to 24 inches by 24 inches, meaning your project cannot be any bigger than 24 by 24. You have a bigger machine. You've selected the long mill 48 by 30 or the 30 by 30, even the 12 by 30. You are going to want to be using the VCarve Pro. Just like I say, when it comes to CNC routers, size matters. So does the size matter when it comes to VCarve software. Get the Pro version. So now that we're done with that, we go click Next. And now we have our entire order set up. And now it's time to simply click the red button, which is complete your order. So you'll click that and you'll come to your cart and you have your quantities and your items all set up. And if you change quantities, then click update cart. Now all you have to do is just check out and you are done. Your machine will be on its way and you will be starting to create stuff in no time flat. Congratulations on getting your long mill and getting it in place and getting all the stuff that you needed and ordered. And let me know when you get your machine so I can do the happy dance for you. Ciao. IDCwoodcraft.com